Just days away from the wedding of the year and every detail has to be perfect for His Royal Highness Prince Harry's former regiment. For us, it's a huge sense of pride for Prince Harry to want us to be involved. So we're, we're you know, really proud that we are involved. Uh, and then I think we will also have a certain amount, until it's over, a certain amount of professional apprehension of making sure we get the job done in the best possible way. The Household Cavalry will make up more than 60 of the military personnel in public view at the wedding, with the whole regiment in support. Their aim to ensure that their roles as the staircase party, travelling escort and state trumpeters go without a hitch. And that includes preparation for their horses. This is Lash Gagar. She is 11 years old and she's one of the special 26 horses that are going to form part of the travelling escort on the big day. Two officers and 24 soldiers will be escorting the bride and groom through Windsor. The Household Cavalry is an operational regiment as well as a mounted one and many of the soldiers here served with Prince Harry during his 10 years in the army. He commissioned into the regiment as a troop leader and served with them in Afghanistan. Within the first hour of him coming and introducing himself into the troop, uh, you get past that sort of starstruck moment. Uh, and being in the House of Cavalry, uh, you know, you, uh, you get to see and you work very closely in nearby all the royals. You get slightly desensitised of uh, who they are. Uh, you never forget your place or who they are really, uh, but you get on with it. And, you know, because he was such a professional man uh, and able to do the job, that's what you want from a boss at the end of the day. A royal wedding is full of pomp and ceremony and the state trumpeters on the day will also come from the household cavalry. So on the day we play, um, on the state trumpeters we play on two occasions. One is for the uh, arrival of Her Majesty, which will be the general royal salute that she always sort of has. And then uh, again for the bride as she arrives into the church. And top secret, you're not going to tell me what piece of fanfare music you're playing, are you? You're correct, I'm not going to tell you, no. It's, um, it's a strict uh, find out on the day. Military personnel who are taking part in the royal wedding all have a close connection to Prince Harry. And for his first regiment, it's likely to be an extremely proud day. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Knightsbridge, London. Oh!